hi guys and welcome back to my channel hopefully you can't hear the knocking noise that's coming from behind my camera I can't locate it and I'm sitting quite still so I don't know what it is anyway welcome back to my channel my la um, as you see from the title of this video this will be my highlight collection I've already done my bronzer collection uh, it's already up but I thought it would be fun to do my highlight collections next um, I have filmed this once but I have acquired a lot of highlighters since so uh, I have this big bag and um, I also have two of these and I also have two on site so if you want to see my highlight collection then please keep on watching and first of all, I'm sorry I can't film on my table as other people do. You have to watch me. I'm sorry about that, but um, I just live too crowded. I will um, hopefully my collection videos from 2020 or 2021 will be different. Anyway, let's dive into my highlight collection. And I'm actually going to start with the bigger palettes. Um, so, so first I have this Nevin Cosmetics Starlight Fantasy Palette. This is a Swedish uh, indie brand that I think is no longer available. Um, it looks like this. It has four big pans. Uh, a silver one, a green one that is gorgeous, a pink one and then also kind of a um, white one. I don't know if you want swatches, but okay, I can give you swatches. There you go. There you see them. There's the green one, there's the silver one, there's the pink one, and there's kind of the white one. Um, this palette is absolutely gorgeous. I I um, I wish I used it more. Looks like this. I'm going to need a wipe. Um, then I have one of my favorite palettes. This is the Revolution and Soap palette. It looks like this. Uh, my favorite one is that one, as you can see. So I will swatch that one for you. It's just a peachy, peachy natural highlight that looks like that. Um, I also, also, uh, it's English. I also, also. Um, like that one and that one um, it looks like this that one is a bit darker and that one is a bit golder absolutely stunning so happy I bought that I bought that here in Sweden Sweden in a store called normal um, gorgeous 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 then I have two of the Revolution uh, highlighter palette. The first one is the highlight one um, that looks like this. I've just shown you this before. It has one gold, one pink and one purple. Stunning. And then I have the Radiance palette that looks like this. Uh, this has more natural shades and I've hit pan on that one. That's the lightest one, um, really really awesome quality in this, I think this is like three, three years old and gorgeous. Then I have um, I have the sleek solstice palette that everyone was raving about a couple of years ago. It looks like this, I barely use this. Um, just because it's so 
boom in your face. Um, it's kind of a wet metallic look, but it's gorgeous. Then I have the Revolution Pro Supreme Highlighter Palette in the shade Ice. Um, this is also really cool. Um, I haven't used this that much either. This is quite powdery. But the pigmentation is fantastic. I mean, look at that middle shade and that purple shade. Um, you will definitely see me do an inner corner highlight with this soon because I think it looks gorgeous. Then we have one of my favorite dual chromes, uh, dual chrome highlights. This is the Lotte London Shimmer Squad in Holographic Hall. Uh, it looks like this. Uh, the green one in, the, in this is my favorite for inner corners when I do green looks. So far, I have a few now. Uh, here's what it looks like on my fingers. And here's what it looks like on... So do you see the green one? Ho, ho, ho. So that one is definitely a favorite. Um, Lottie London is not that expensive, neither is the Makeup Revolution one. So if you want a another color on your highlight, then check those two brands out. Then I have then I have two of this that I never use. This is the NYX Bright Idea in the shade Chardonnay Shimmer. I have used it like once, I think. And this is the Illuminating Strobe Cream by Berry M in the shade Frosty Pink. I should declutter these, but I'm a hoarder, so they will stay. I might do a declutter video later on this uh, spring. Um, barely use these. The same goes for these two. This is the Hard Candy Sheer Glow All The Way Blushing Babe Soft Glow Illuminator in the shade Blushing Babe. Never use it. This is and this is the Buxom Divine Goddess Illuminizer in Venus. I should give this away. Maybe it's a bit too champagne for me. And then I also have this from Makeup Revolution. This is the liquid highlighter in the shade Unicorn Elixir. Um, I think I want to try this again because I've heard people talk about that this is good, but I didn't get it to work. But it might have been me, but it looks like that. Um, gorgeous shade. Don't know why I bought a purple one <laughs> though, but uh, I really wanted to try this. So that's that. Then moving on to my single highlights, I have two of the older Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, illuminators, one in Peach Nectar and one in Riviera. These are too dark for me, but I said that in my last video as well, but maybe I should put them in my eyeshadow drawer or I should sell them or give them away. Because this is what they look like. Way too dark. But very pretty. Then I have two of the Revolution Vivid Baked uh, strobe highlighters. One is uh, too dark. I don't know why I bought this. I think I thought it looked really cool. Um, and it might look pretty cool. Uh, there's the red one on uh, like a blush top or something um, this one is in Everglow Lights, the lighter one and this I've actually used quite a lot it swatches pretty badly but it looks stunning on the face I have two of the Technic Get Gorgeous highlighters um, this I bought several years ago and I see people talk about this now I've hit, kind of hit pan on mine this is one of my favorite highlighters. I bought it for like 50 kroner, which is like six dollars, no, four dollars, five dollars, or something like that. Um, 
it's a gorgeous everyday highlighter and then I recently picked up another shade and this is the first one is called oh, they don't have any name or well, this one doesn't have any name but this one is called pink sparkle I haven't used this yet on my face I think because it is quite pink um, but it might actually look pretty good. So those I can recommend. The Technic has um, some hits and misses in their makeup lines. But these two highlights are amazing. Um, then I have this LA Girl Strobe Light Strobing Powders. Uh, I have one 10 watt and one 20 watt. These are a bit chunky. And a little bit glittery. So I haven't used this that much. Um, and one of them is too golden for me. There's one, there's one twenty, and there's one ten. Um, so I haven't used those that much, but um, they are okay. I'm just going to remove those swatches so we can continue on swatching. Then I have one Girlactic Face Glow in the shade Natural and um, this looks dark and brown but uh, it actually is quite natural if I use a, a light hand. It looks like that. Um, yeah, I bought the wrong shade. I should have bought the lighter one but couldn't find it when I saw it in the store and I got so excited that I wanted to try one of those so I picked that one up then I have one Physicians Formula Butter Highlight this is in the sh shade Pearl this is the lightest one I think and it's a pink duochrome it's Oh, it doesn't show up that pink actually, maybe it's not. But it's very fair and very pretty. And it has a buttery formula. I should take this out and use it more often actually. I have an oldie but a goldie. This is the Too Faced Candlelight Glow. Um, this is one of the first highlighters that I ever bought. Uh, I just mix these two together. And put them on my face. There you have that one. Um, if I use a bit more of the pink one. It looks like that. Um, I should try to pan this. Because it is it is really old. But. That will be a later problem. I have one. Pixie and. A uh, single highlight. This is the Aspen. This is the glowy powder in London Luster, and it was a collab with Aspen Overd. Uh, as you can see, I've actually used quite a lot of this one. I think this is gorgeous, and it's it might look too dark in the actual pan, but it's not on the skin. I should take this out. I have one from Nabla Cosmetics, uh, it's a single one from the shade and glow range and this is in the shade Baby Glow. It's a little bit darker but there you have that one. Highlight has really been a thing for me like for one year only. Um, before I didn't I wasn't a highlight girl, I've always been a blush girl and of course I, I thought that highlights were pretty but I, I always I always thought um, they were too dark for me but since I've stepped out of my comfort zone a bit and started to use liquid makeup or liquid foundation uh, my skin tone is more like my, my I anyway I've been starting to use highlights maybe for a year now, so 
or really started to use them. Um, I have one NYX highlight. This is in uh, this is the duochromatic one in twilight tint. Um, this has a blue tint to it. it. This is gorgeous. I I need to use this in a eye makeup look soon. Then I have one from the brand that I can't pronounce. Um, it's called Do. Let me see if it says on here. It's called Duke. And it's spelled D O U C C E. And it's this one that I've shown you a lot of times now. I have quite a dent in mine because this totally surprised me and. Um, I think this is stunning. I will swatch it next to the Twilight one. Um, yeah, it's one of my favorite highlights for... It's been one of my favorite highlights for months now. And it comes in this little, like... It has a magnetic thing on it. I tried to find it on Look Fantastic website because we got this in a Look Fantastic box. But I can't find it. But it's gorgeous. I have one loose highlighter that I never use. This is uh, Young Blood in the shade Twilight. Um, I actually got this for Christmas one year or something like that. Um, this is not. This is bought off a site here in Sweden that sells makeup, but they're not authorized uh, retailers for this brand, so I'm not sure if this is like the real deal. Um, just so you know. Um, at that time I didn't mind, now I would never buy from such a website. Um, but this highlighter is quite gorgeous, but as I said I hardly ever use it because of the fact that it might not be uh, real. But it's gorgeous. I won't declutter it since it's a present and a gorgeous one. I have one from Eden Minerals. This is a Swedish mineral brand and this is in the shade Wild Capri Fuel. Uh, it looks like this. It's I think this is an eyeshadow. Yep, it's a single eyeshadow, but it's it's a gorgeous highlighting shade. It looks like that. So I put it in my highlighter drawer. Then I have four from Laura Geller. Uh, first I have this sample one of Gilded Honey uh, that I got from, this is a deluxe sample we got in a Look Fantastic box. Um, this is the only one I haven't used. This is pure gold. It is definitely too dark for me, but I will probably do it, use it in a eyeshadow look. Then I have Diamond Dust, and this is a duochrome. Yeah, it doesn't show up on camera, but it might show up on the swatches. Yeah, it's a uh, really strong pink duochrome to this. It looks like that. Gorgeous. And then <coughs> I have the Charming Pink one that I've used a lot. It's also one of my favorites. It looks like that. It's quite natural on me. And then my favorite from Laura Geller, it's the Peach Glow. That looks like this. Um, and it looks like that. It's gorgeous. I love the Laura Geller ones. Um, I bought mine in Ulta in the US. But Look Fantastic has some of them and Look Fantastic ships to Sweden. It's one of my favorite formulas when it comes to highlights, just so you know. So if you're going to check something out from this big collection, check out Laura Geller. I have this gorgeous Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Blossom Glow. Uh, this is also stunning. This has that wet look to it. It looks like this. As you can see, it looks wet on the skin. Super gorgeous. Um, I will just try to fit this back in. I actually. 
actually need a bigger drawer for my highlights um, because I've acquired quite many. Uh, okay, I have uh, the Benefit Dandelion Twinkle one. Uh, this is a pink peach highlighter. Uh, I like this one. It's kind of natural on me. There you have that one. It, do you see the difference? This is the wet and wild one uh, that I talked about. It looks wet and this looks a little bit more natural. Although the dandelion, the dandelion twinkle one is gorgeous as well. I have this from Kiko. This is the Glow Fusion Powder Highlight in the shade 01. Uh, there's quite a dent in this because this was my favorite highlight last summer. Um, and it still is one of my favorite highlights because it's so gorgeous. There you have that one. I have this from Milani. This is the Milani Strobe Light in the shade Afterglow. This is also one of my favorites. It's a bit more drier in the formula, but it's gorgeous on me, on the skin. There you have that one. I suck at swatching. I'm sorry, but hopefully you can see the shades good anyway. I have one from By Terry. Um, it looks like this. It's the Imperious Imperious Highlight in Pearlescent Glow. It looks like this. Um, this is also beautiful. And really expensive. And quite natural. I don't know if you can even see that on the swatch. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I will hold on to this forever because it was so expensive. I bought it off a friend though, but still expensive. And pretty. I have two Ofra highlights and these are quite new to my collection. I bought them last year. I have the one in the Nikki Tutorials collab, which is called the Glazed Donut. It looks like this. And then I also have the one called Pillow Talk. And these are so wet that I, I don't use them that much. I will swatch them, swatch them for you. I mean, this is the Pillow Talk. Pillow Talk and then... And then the Glazed Donut. These are totally my shades, but for every day I think they are too wet. I have three from uh, Becca Cosmetics. I have Rose Quartz, Pearl and Moonstone. Moonstone is the first one I bought. Um, it has been quite used. I do really love the formula of this. This is Moonstone. This is Rose Quartz. And this is Pearl, it's the lightest one. It's kind of uh, a white one. And that looks like that. Gorgeous formula, gorgeous shade range. They have more, um, they have for darker skin as well. Um, Becca is one of my favorite brands when it comes to highlights as well, just as the Laura Geller one. Then I have four from Colourpop. Uh, and it, it's their Super, Cho Super Shock Chic Highlighters. So I have Flexitarian, Honeymoon, Hippo, and Stole the Show. I will not swatch this, but um, it's like the Super Shock... Cho Super shock formula. Um, I don't use these that much because they are a bit of hard to use. Um, but they are quite pretty. Now I this is still the show. Um, I will try to incorporate them more in 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 tutorials and stuff like that because I think it's quite sad that they don't get that much use from me. 
uh, that was this is the flexitarian one so it's gorgeous but um, I just don't like the formula I don't know what brush to use with them that works best and stuff like that so that's why you don't see, see them on my channel but I will try to incorporate them more then we're down to the last three and two of them is my H&M's uh, highlighters. One is in Delicate Pearl and it looks like this. Um, I like H&M Beauty. I think they have gorgeous stuff. Uh, that, there's the Delicate Pearl. And then I also have Moonlit Halo, which is more of a, a duochrome white. It has a pink undertone. Gorgeous and really cheap as well and really big containers and they also have a mirror in them. Then my last highlight of today and also my newest to my collection it's the pixie by petra glowy gossamer duo in subtle sunrise i got this for my birthday from my sister and um, i've only used the lighter shade in this so far but it's gorgeous here you have them swatched there you have them i think this is a bit too dark but i might be able to make it work but this one is, looks perfect um, it's the wet look again, so I won't probably be using these um, when I go to work. Anyway, this was my highlight collection. Um, please let me know in the comments down below what, what category I should do next. I have face palettes, I have blushes, I have eyeshadow palettes. I can show you all of my hair stuff if you want to. Uh, so please leave a comment down below what you want to see and please subscribe to my channel if you have not already and until I make another video you guys please take care. Bye!